as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming. Maranatha, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. The results of false visions. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Matthew 7, verse 19 and 20. Several now living are skeptics, have no belief in the gift of the church, no faith in the truth, no religion at all. Such, I have been shown, is the sure result of spurious visions. Satan is constantly pressing in the spurious to lead away from the truth. The very last deception of Satan will be to make of none effect the testimony of the Spirit of God. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Proverbs 29 verse 18 Satan will work ingenuously in different ways and through different agencies to unsettle the confidence of God's remnant people in the true testimony. He will bring in spurious visions to mislead and will mingle the false with the true and so disgust people that they will regard everything that bears the name of visions as species of fanaticism. But honest souls, by contrasting false and true, will be enabled to distinguish between them. There is nothing more detrimental to the soul's interest, its purity, its true and holy conceptions of God and of sacred and eternal things than constantly given heed to and exalting that which is not from God. It poisons the heart and degrades the understanding. Pure truth can be traced to its divine source by its elevating, refining, sanctifying influence upon the character of the receiver. The author of all truth pray to his Father. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. John 17, 20 and 21 Things will be constantly arising to cause disunion, to draw away from the truth. This questioning, criticizing, denouncing, passing judgment on others is not an evidence of the grace of Christ in the heart. It does not produce unity. Such work has been carried on in the past by persons claiming to have wonderful light when they were deep in sin.